What's up guys, this is Doug with 4-Wheel Drive Trek, and as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, that guy back there. Anyway, it's snowed up here in uh, the Pacific Northwest, down in the lowlands, which is really cool. We get maybe once a year-ish, once a year. Today we're going to be comparing different vehicles. It's going to be a little bit different video for us today. We got a Subaru, 2002 Subaru. Got my STI, and unfortunately the drive axle is broken in my Jeep. So, uh, yeah, we got this guy with his Rubicon. We'll talk to him in just a minute. And then we got my old Jeep that I sold to that guy. And then uh, my buddy Tyrell and his stock Toyota Tacoma. I have a 2015 Subaru WRX STI. Uh, this is going to be a typical 2005-ish and up. That is just a rough estimate. There are some older Subarus that have the electronic traction control. Uh, I'm just saying what this is because that's the comparison between the two Subarus there. It is on all season tires that are snow rated, but they are actually dedicated all season tires. And there's nothing special about like the winter driving with those. I take it up to Stevens Pass in the snow up the passes all the time to go snowboarding and it works perfectly fine. Uh, this could be a good comparison with the uh, different vehicles we have out here today. So we got my buddy AJ here with his 2002 Subaru WRX. He's gonna be on winter tires today, right? Yeah, so I have uh, Ch Champiro Ice Pros. These are uh, snow tires. We got a discount tire about four seasons ago, so they have been run on a little bit. Um, it's an O2 Impreza WRX, uh, upgraded intake and cat back exhaust, so not anything too special, not too much power. It is lowered about an inch, so we'll see if that has any impact on us. And then we do have drilled and slotted rotors, so hopefully that'll help with the traction and braking. So. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We got Mason here with his uh, Jeep Rubicon. We'll have him tell you a little bit about that. It's 2010 Rubicon. I uh, haven't done much to it since I got it a couple years ago. Uh, it's on uh, 315s, uh, Falcon Wild Peaks. And these are more of a alter all terrain tire versus all -terrain. the uh, mud terrain tires. Yep. That's good. This is kind of like the uh, kind of like what you would get as your en entry level if you're trying to get into jeeping. Yeah. That first like lift, the first tires you want to throw on there and uh, kind of start getting out there and see. And now we got Carter here with my old Jeep, but it's not my Jeep anymore, so I'll let him talk about it now. So Doug did a lot of the upgrades on this. Um, I've been kind of just doing my new stuff. Um, one of the upgrades that he did was the wheel and tire combo, which is 33's Patagonia Mile Stars. Mile Star yeah. Patagonia tires. Yeah. Uh, same wheel and tire setup that Doug has, and I'm then uh, 3.75 inch lift, rough country lift. Um, backed up with it, I put four tins in both front and rear in the Dana 35 and the Dana 30. If you guys don't know, the Milestar Patagonia tires are mud terrain tires, so it'll be a good comparison between the all terrain and the mud terrain tires that we see in today. Yeah, this is my 95 Tacoma, and it's basically all stock. There's no lift on it, like anything, all the other cars here. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to try and keep up with everyone. And yeah, there's not much else to say about it. You've got some uh, all-season tires on there, so no mud terrain, no fancy lift, no fancy traction control, literally just a stock Toyota Tacoma. The final vehicle we have is going to be a Tesla in the snow. This is Tyler. He's got to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, it's uh, essentially just a 2020 Tesla uh, Model 3 Performance. Just as it is from factory, only a couple things I have on there are some mud guards, but that's about it. Uh, essentially, I mean, hard compound tires are 20 inch uh, wheels with uh, Michelin Pilot Pros. So, which if you guys don't know, are <laughs> summer sport tires. That's exactly it. So we have all seasons, mud tires, all terrain tires, and summer sport tires. Summer sport tires. It'll be interesting to see how these things uh, hold up, but you know, Tesla's supposed to be like the best all-wheel drive system because of all the motors and all that, so yeah, let's see how well it does. Alright. So instead of doing all these tests right in front of my house and uh, upsetting some neighbors, we're going to head up to the high school and we're going to be doing all the stuff there, so yeah. <laughs> let's be smart about it. A little safer so nobody takes out my mailbox and uh, fiance would be really mad about that one. So to keep it kind of fair, so we're all kind of uh, on the same path, <laughs> same path, <laughs> on the same thing. Uh, we're all going to be launching at a 2,000 RPMs, just so you can see the tire spin, the differences of that. We'll have. I'm going to start first. 
I'm gonna do the first one with traction control on with the all season tires, and then I'll do it with the traction control turned off. So you can see the difference of how much it grips and goes. And then the final one, I'm just gonna go for it and just spin tires. <laughs> Where we're at is gonna be a closed course, so make sure you don't do these just anywhere without permission. Make sure you get permission first. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start doing it. As you can see, with the video slowing down, the tires start to slip and the traction control kicks in to help move the Subaru forward. With this slowing down, watch the snow on the tires. You can see how much tire spin there is with the traction control turned off. So we got AJ in his 2002 WRX. He's gonna start out with that 2000 RPM and uh, we're gonna see how that mechanical traction control actually works on there. And he also has the snow tires that grip a little bit better than my all seasons. So let's see that comparison. With AJ's snow tires slowing down, you can see that they spin for a split second and then grip and go. This helps with accelerating in the snow. As you can see with this side by side, with no electronic traction control, the snow tires spin a lot less than the all season tires. And another view, you can see just how much faster AJ Subaru accelerates with those snow tires than my STI does. Those snow tires did fantastic. They gripped and went and uh, I don't know, you guys be the judge. Who's better at doing the, uh, in the snow? My Subaru with the 2015 with the traction control or the 2002 with the uh, mechanical traction control and snow tires. Let me know in the comments below what you think, uh, who did it better. So first thing we're going to do is traction, traction control on in two wheel drive. That is going to be your basic, you're going to drive around every single day. You're going to jump in the vehicle, jump in the snow, that's what you're going to start off with. So let's see how he does with that. With Mason's all-terrain tires and traction control on, the tires start to slip at first, but just like the Subaru, traction control kicks the power down and keeps it from spinning too much, and that starts to grip and grind. The Jeep four-wheel drive with traction control on. The four-wheel drive starts to slip before the traction control kicks in, but with the four-wheel drive on, the vehicle starts to move forward and the tires don't slip as much. All right, so now we got the uh, Jeep TJ. We're gonna start off with just rear wheel drive. We're not gonna be putting four wheel drive in. And he's gonna do the same, bring it up 2000 RPMs and go for it and see how that works. With just two wheel drive on, you can see the back start to spin, but even with a slight loss of traction, the vehicle moves forward pretty easily. And with that four wheel drive engaged, the tires still spin slightly with the instant power. But those mile stars grab super well. So as one would expect, four wheel drive works a little bit better than a two wheel drive. And that's gonna be on the Mile Star Patagonia mud tires. With this side by side test, both Jeeps gave it all gas. Both were in four wheel drive and the four door had traction control turned off to be even with the two door. You can see here that the mud terrain tires actually grip harder and accelerate faster. And now we've got the Toyota truck. Now this has no traction control, no lockers, no anything. This is just straight him driving with the all season tires that are stock, what you would get from like a normal tire shop. Let's see how he does. Tyrell probably has the most disadvantage in two-wheel drive with that light back end. He is still moving forward, but has very, very little grip. Everybody's out in their uh, side-by-sides and quads and ATVs and stuff. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, uh, he had the two-wheel drive, just straight two-wheel drive. He's spinning a lot of tires with that. Now we're going to do the four-wheel drive. That's going to be four-wheel drive high. Again, no traction control. Nothing, just straight four-wheel drive and all-season tires. 
With that four-wheel drive engaged, the truck pulls nice and hard in comparison with that two-wheel drive. That is why four-wheel drive is better than two. So we're going to do the first kind of launch at 2,000-ish RPMs with traction control on. So it would be the Tesla's traction control stopping the vehicle from spinning out and all that. So as you guys might know, um, this is an electric vehicle, so there are no RPMs. So we're going to kind of guesstimate where a 2,000 RPM gas pedal would be. So, yeah, we'll see how the Tesla does on this. Of all the vehicles we have done with traction control, the Tesla has the quickest response time from spinning and traction control turning on by far. So that was pretty good. Uh, even with the, the actual summer sport tires, the compound is super duper hard and it didn't slip, didn't do anything. It just drove. Now we're going to do it with the traction control turned off. Let's see if you can actually spin some tires and all that and uh, you're just going to go for it again. Yep. Here you can see it spinning the rear tires more than the front, but neither seem to spin too much. Seems that even with traction control turned off, the Tesla still seems to be gripping really well, as if it has some sort of traction control turned on. <laughs> so, apparently the uh, Tesla traction control, even when turned off, it has this, uh, like, slip stop thing where you turn it on if you're going to be in, like, uh, sand, mud, snow and stuff. But it was auto braking for him, which was not very good. Uh, <laughs> I think it's having a blast. We all are having a blast out here. It's a lot of fun out here in the snow. We don't get much out here in the Pacific Northwest, so uh, usually we have to go to the mountains to find our snow. Anyway, uh, without the traction control, it worked really well. Uh, as you can see, the back tires were spinning a lot more. The front tire wasn't really spinning. So that's just uh, proof right there that the traction control definitely <laughs> Definitely helps a lot. Now we're gonna head over to the uh, hill. So we're gonna do the up and down a hill and stopping on a hill, starting on a hill, stuff like that, and see who does it best and who has the best tires or traction or whatever, and which vehicle kind of does it the best. So let's jump to it. So <laughs> we're on this hill and we're trying to uh, get set up for a start and stop on a hill. <laughs> my Subaru on the all-wheel drive, or the, my Subaru on the all seasons, or wasn't doing too great. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's a pretty steep hill and it's really, really slick and uh, I was having a little bit of troubles. May have even touched the curb slightly. But we're gonna have uh, <laughs> Mason up first. We're gonna be doing his uh, Jeep. We're gonna keep four wheel drive high. We're gonna keep it safe so we don't slide into anything or anything like that. So uh, yeah, we'll see how he does. And I fall. We got Carter, he's gonna start it in two wheel drive. We're gonna attempt in two wheel drive. All right, let's see how he does. Whoever said the Milestar Patagonia tires are not good in snow and ice, uh, <laughs> that was two-wheel drive, open differentials. I think you just proved that one wrong. So we'll do that again in four-wheel drive just to see the difference of the two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just said, what snow? And just went right up. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's do something that's gonna be a little more exciting. Like, my vehicle. All right, so uh, what you got going next? So, 
I'm going to try it, having issues a little bit. Uh, I have all season tires, they have about 30,000 miles or so on them. <laughs> I'm not doing too well. Surprisingly, the traction control is actually hindering me than helping me. I'm going to try it again without giving it too much RPMs. It's I keep just spinning tires, so I'm going to I'm going to try it very, very slow, keep the tires from spinning too fast, so let's see how that works. Alright, I don't know if this is really a fair comparison. I, I got the tires, they were, when I bought the vehicle at the dealership, they said it, they had about five, maybe 10,000 miles on them. I think they may have more, and I've put 25,000 miles on them. So I want to say the tires are due to be replaced. I mean, this is probably one of the worst case scenarios you're going to be on. This is directly stopping on a hill with all-terrain tires when it's snowing. And of course, he just drives around on pass like there's nothing. So let's see how he does. All right, so that was actually a pretty smooth, slow RPM increase. On this one, I'm gonna run it up a little bit higher, probably around the 4,000 RPM range and just see how long it takes for my tires to hook up. See how long it's going to take for him to hook up? What the heck? That was like instantaneous. <laughs> this guy. This guy. All right, let's see uh see how the truck does. <laughs> I like I really really hope mine outdoes his truck, but I have a feeling it's not gonna. We're gonna try it first in two-wheel drive, and I'm gonna guess like 99% that it is not gonna work. Wrong way. <laughs> As you can see, uh, that was short-lived. Uh, There's definitely no traction for him in two-wheel drive. So I'm gonna switch over to four-wheel drive high and see how he does on that one. Hey, what'd you say about me setting the bar real low? <laughs> so the silver tire, not really the best for uh, starting stopping on a hill. Not starting stopping, <laughs> no way. Yeah, definitely not. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna actually do that start and, st start and stop test on the hill just for safety reasons. And there's some kids out here, we don't wanna do something and hit a kid, that's bad. All right, now we're gonna do the brake test. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we do with braking. I'm not sure how well we're gonna on this hill, but yeah, let's see how it works. <laughs> That's not too bad. So it looks like uh, that was about a car length and a half for Mason stopping on the hill. To a complete full stop using all traction control, all anti lock brakes, everything on. And he was also in four wheel drive, so that was, uh, that was pretty good. Perfect! <laughs> so, as you can see, that was, that was really impressive. He did really well stopping on that one. Um, that is exactly why I'm not going to be doing it. Because those mile stars are gripping super well. I probably won't stop. <laughs> That'd be bad. And just as a reminder, he is in a 1998 TJ. There is no anti-lock brakes. There is no traction control. There is no lockers. He is straight up just stopping. And those tires are, I'm impressed. I am glad that I had them on my Jeep. I wish my Jeep was working. So 
So do you feel like you skidded all on that one? Yeah, a little bit. It slid a tiny bit, but it did get gripping pretty good. Yeah, that was... I'm impressed by the snow tires. So as you can see, those snow tires are pretty insane. I kind of feel bad about uh, making fun of them for the past few years. Uh, why do they need snow tires up here in the Pacific Northwest? And now I'm kind of contemplating that for mine because that would be really cool to have. But yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was a cool test. Mason parked on the side of the road and out of the way for the rest of the testing. Unfortunately, the lack of traction in reverse with those all-terrain tires, he was not able to back up safely. Carter jumped to the rescue with his Jeep and the Super Grip Milestar tires winched him backwards up the hill so he can safely go around the vehicle in front of him. So like it breaks for you when you think you're sliding but you don't want it to break in the snow because yeah. it makes so you slide more. Turns, it says use to help free stuck vehicle in sand or mud huh. or snow. Well, that's interesting though. It's so weird. Also for safety reasons we're not going to do that. Uh, brake test on there just like I did for mine and Tyrell's truck or my Subaru Tyrell's truck so we'll be uh, skipping that one like I said for safety because in the snow it's not necessarily like your rigs not necessarily your tires first things first is safety and remember that so yeah it's still good I mean Tesla drove up the drove up the hill with the momentum yeah that's the biggest thing about hills is momentum going up and uh it's getting cold out here, so I think we're about done for the day. So let's, uh, yeah, head back. All right. So um, that was really interesting. What about you guys? You think that was pretty cool? That was awesome. That was fun. That was fun. You can't uh, drive up a hill. <laughs> apparently, my tires, even though they're all, they're rated for snow and they're all seasons, are not good in snow. So here we got the all season tires with a little tiny bit of grip on the sides. Great for kicking water out, but not good for the snow. And right here we got the uh, the tread pattern from my snow tires. As you can see, it's a lot deeper. It's probably about a half inch deep tread. Allows me to compact the snow on my tire, and snow grips the snow really well, so it uh, allows me to get some traction. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the tread pattern on the Mile Stars. They are huge lugs, and they're digging into that snow and just gripping and going. I, I think I needed some new tires. Or I just need a new drive axle for my Jeep, and I just feel like him with these Milestar Patagonias. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, whoever says that, Milestar Patagonia tires are terrible in snow and ice. Proof is in the pudding. Like, we just proved right there. Like, he even pulled somebody backwards up a hill with the Milestar Patagonia tires. Yeah. Come on now. So, all those haters out there, keep on hating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure you dislike the video. <laughs> no, no. Like the video. Don't dislike the video. I'm going to cut that out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But anyway, um, I hope you guys like the video. It's uh, very informative, at least for me. I hope you guys also find it informative and uh, you guys... It's definitely been eye-opening for me. Yeah. yeah. Just remember, I mean, four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive does not mean four-wheel drive stop. Yes. So uh, unless you're putting that uh, grip to the ground, it doesn't do anything. If you like the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We see all these rigs out on all the other videos we already have and more videos on coming along. So, yeah. Anything else you guys want to say about the day? It was fun. It, it was, was awesome. Fun. Let's do it again. Let me get let me get a new axle for my Jeep and then we'll do it again. <laughs> and go. then I'll just blow all you guys out of the water with my lockers and mm, I will... I still yeah. think TJ's are superior. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. Anyway, thanks for watching.